Here you can see that I have a simple character made in Illustrator. It has a mouth, eyes and body as layers right now and what we're going to do is we're going to import this into Toon Boom now. So to import that in Toon Boom, we have to go to File and then we need to choose Save As. I'm going to choose my desktop right here and I'm just going to say Ghost right here. This is going to be a ghost.ai file and I'm going to press C. As I chose Save As, now I have Illustrator, uh, Illustrator options to choose the version right over here. So I'm going to choose Illustrator CS2 which works best with Toon Boom. And then I'm going to enable this create PDF compatible files and it is on by default so I'm not going to worry about it too much and I'm going to press OK. Once I press OK, it says legacy format, you may uh, lose some text layout and so forth. I just want to import graphics so it doesn't matter. So not all of the things actually gets imported right in Toon Boom from Illustrator but the lines, colors and simple gradients imports out quite well. If you want to learn more about Illustrator, you can take a look at my Illustrator playlist where you learn Illustrator from the ground up. So anyways, now let us go on to Toon Boom. So now I'm going to minimize this and th this is my Toon Boom right over here. So let us import the Illustrator file. To import the Illustrator file, you have to go to file right here. Then you go to import and you have to select this SWF Illustrator files to library. But that's, that is disabled now. That is because you have to go around to the library and select the folder where you want to import the Illustrator file to. So you have to go over here onto the library and if you don't see libraries, just click on this plus button right over here and select library. So over here, what you have to do is you have to create a new folder. So create a new folder right over here, just like this. So to create a new folder, right click on it and click on open library. and in open library choose the folder so I'm just going to go on to the document I'm going to right click new and I'm going to create a folder right here for illustrator files just like this and once I select that I'm going to click on select folder right over here and the folder is created so still it's not ready to be imported I have to right click over here and click on right to modify now the option will be available. So I can go to file right here. I can go to import and now this is available as I select the folder as you can see. So click on SWF Illustrator file to library. Select that ghost uh, file that we just made and I'm going to press open. So once I do that, that Harmony will uh, read the file and keep it in the library and it will ask us what to rename the file at. I'm just going to keep it as it is and I'm going to say OK. So in order to uh, bring the uh, file in the timeline over here, I'm just going to click and drag it over here and there you go. There's our ghost with the mouth, eyes and body right over here. So I can select this out, I can resize this out uh, and work around as if this was made in Toon Boom itself. So everything has been preserved as you can see right over here. So I can move this around right here, use the arrow keys, move it around into place and so forth. And there you go. So everything is over here. So now uh, I'm going to go over here and then change the outlook of uh, it as well. So I'm just going to go around here onto the outlook. Let's just expand this and go to the tool properties. Let's select these out right over here and then change the size of the press and the type of the press and you get a different art style right over there. So you can do all of these right over here now and start animating as usual. So that is how you import Illustrator files into Toon Boom Harmony. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.